this is Panther 55100 Zinc completed a quick disconnect two per package so I am going to uh, use the Harbor Freight um, Harbor Freight here the carbon steel tap and die set and uh, the size that I need is the 3 8 and 24 3 8 and 24 Harbor Freight. Harbor Freight 2. So I just used my um, this vise and then I just bend this 3 eighths of an inch. This is 3 eighths of an inch times 48 inches. that uh, when this motor turn over to there it won't be able to it won't be able to connect to here. You know, that's why I want to bend it. So that it bent it over to here and then connect to this. You know? So This is a uh, round uh, steel bar ever built 3 eighths of an inch times 48 inches. So it's 48 inches long. What I'm going to do is, this is probably too long, so I'm going to cut, cut this off about here. Cut it off about here. And then I'll have this connected to the quick connect. Um, that's how it's going to be done. I use the vise, I have to bend it that way so that it the out. And, uh, this is the uh, final product. And I'm gonna cut it off about here and uh, we'll see. Okay, so you can see this uh, 48 inches uh, steel rod, 3 eighths of an inch in diameter. Is I uh, just bent it so that it goes down and eventually it's gonna connect to this, maybe this. I don't know yet, but uh, this is how I bent it. And, uh, the steel bar to the end, to the other end, and then that's where the uh, adapter hole is. Here. Okay. So. so that's the uh, that's the intention. At the end, at the end, I'll, I'll have the ball joint. Or quickly, these connected it to the hydraulic adapter, and this is the uh, this is the idea. So you can see here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn this thing over to the uh, right, most right, and I'm going to take a look, see what happened here. Okay, so I am going to turn this over. Now the motor is straight, so as you can imagine, this will just pull this. This will pull this forward, and then this will turn the motor forward to here, and that's straight. That's straight. Okay. Uh, 
turn the motor to the right. Because right now the motor is Now the motor is turned all the way to the right. And let's see what happened here. This thing is just gonna keep pulling and then uh, it got stuck. to the to the right and this uh, Honda outboard is also all the way to the right it cannot turn it can let's see uh, to remove this base star adapter this bar here so that I can remove this adapter and make it bigger because right now the adapter is too small so I'm taking apart this There a lot of grease. Uh, put it there. And then well, connection to the screws that need to be moved. Not waiting back in. Taking this hydraulic uh, mounting screw off. So this way I can make this adapter hole bigger so I can mount the kicker motor. This is a 916 inches open range. As you can see here, it's a very tight space. So, you know, gotta be, gotta have an open range. A good uh, long 
open range. You can see this one is very long. This open range is very long. So I can get in there and unscrew this. I have the um, this uh, bolt out of uh, the Johnson um, tilt. Right now, I'm just gonna put this back in. I have this uh, support thing. Go back up there. You can see this is the hole I want to do something about it, but I want to support this hydraulic cylinder. Um, okay, you can see this uh, quick release bolt. I want to bolt it through here, but I can't because this hole is simply too small. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my drill and the drill bit to make this hole bigger okay so I just uh, drilled it through and now the hole is bigger so now this bolt Three eighths should be able to go through easily, as you can see there. Okay, accomplished. So I'm just gonna tighten this uh, back in, and then uh, be in business. You know, so it's a three eighths inches uh, drill bit, and then. Uh, there's another one over here. So, you, you know, this hydraulic, uh, base star hydraulic, it's pretty good. You can, uh, you can, uh, This, this screw I stripped it as you can see probably should get a, a different bolt okay so now I have this uh, screw mounted around here and you can see is a bolt on the other side so I think I'm gonna find a washer fit on the other side Okay, I tightened this uh, earring. Now I'm just uh, putting this quick release on there. There we go. Then I'm gonna flip this backwards and then uh, put this back. Uh, and, uh, match this with the with the uh, steering handle here and uh, okay gonna put this hydraulic thing back interesting
is it like this? Or is it like this? I can't remember. It's probably like this. Uh, if it's like this, I need to turn. Is it like this? Huh. Wow. <laughs> it's really good. I didn't know how I did it before. Oh, yeah. It's the second hole. Not this first hole, it's the second hole. Always forget. Yeah. Okay. Need to go down there and uh, do it. 